Making a call in the 21st century seems elegant and transparent, but how does this process work? Why not join us as we walk through and examine each part of the process on a step-by-step -step basis? Our story starts with our intrepid actor making a call to his friend. At the point he dials her number, we will follow the various processes used to connect this call. This process starts with the mobile device communicating via the air interface with the nearest BTS and requests a random access channel to enter the cellular network. Once this channel has been granted, the BSC allocates a traffic channel which allows the mobile device to send the recipient's mobile number that is stored within a call setup message through the BSS into the heart of the network known as the MSC. On arrival, our call is put on hold while the subscriber's details are validated using the following two databases. The VLR can be seen as a copy of the main HLR database containing the IMSI, MSISDN and subscription details of users who are currently using that particular MSC's services. The MSC then examines the EIR database to see if the device has been stolen or cloned. Once this information has been authenticated, the MSC informs the device that the connection can continue and instructs the BSC to assign voice channels and encryption for the call. At this point, the HLR uses the recipient's phone number to search for their associated IMSI and current location. Once these details have been found, they are forwarded to the relevant MSC, which then generates an MSRN code and sends it back through the HLR to the awaiting MSC. After the call has been successfully routed across the network using the supplied MSRN, the serving MSC examines its own VLR to find the recipient's location area code. Once this information has been found, the MSC then broadcasts the recipient's IMSI to all the base stations within that geographical area. If the matching device recognises this page, the calling party will hear a ringtone and the recipient's phone will start to ring. This process continues until the call is answered where both channels are connected and the call can finally begin.